Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Gabe al-Romani for the Daily Reminder. Dear brothers and sisters, I want to advise myself and advise you with a very, very important advice. And please give me your hearts, not just your ears. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah 49, verse 11, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu la yaskhar qawmum min qawmin asa Oh, you have believed that not a people ridicule another people. It may be that they are better than them, subhanAllah. And a people who are making fun of other people. And in our situation, these are Muslims who are using jokes, extreme jokes, pranks and so on to basically push their agenda, push their popularity and they say that, you know, we are Muslims. Please listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the verse that I just recited. Let not a people ridicule another people. It may be that they are better than them. We don't use ridiculing, or, you know, and I'll get to the point of jokes. There's a difference between joking and ridiculing. People are ridiculing others. People are going behind their backs and pranking them and scaring them and all kinds of things. Pay attention. Omar ibn Abdul Aziz said, fear joking for it is foolish and it generates grudges when you make fun of someone you think that ah, it was so fun for me it was so fun what about the person that you made the joke on you don't think about that you don't think about the person that you just pranked right now Saad ibn Abi Waqas said set a limit to your jokes for going to extremes make you lose makes you lose respect no doubt you become a foolish a clown and incites the foolish against you so pay attention Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said do not laugh too much why? Why, Rasulullah? For laughing too much deafens the heart. It kills your heart. People are just, you know, they just want to have fun today. They don't want to think about death. They just want to basically, you know, just laugh, laugh, laugh. You know, they say, well, you know, there's all these haram and kuffar making, you know, kinds of jokes. How about we make like a Muslim version? I can be Ahmed or Muhammad or Abdullah and I can be the Muslim version of these things. Brothers, this is not the correct way. Sisters, this is not the correct way. Mixing with girls, laughing, girls kissing you, hugging you, um, you know, basically going, being invited in, in places and so on and having tours and, you know, girls going crazy like it's some kind of, you know, subhanAllah, like in Jahiliya when you would see, you know, these so-called superstars coming and women crying and screaming and everyone's taking pictures and so on. These are our sisters in hijab. These are our Muslim sisters, our protected sisters that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored, dishonoring themselves. Advice for my brothers and for my sisters. First for my sisters. Dear sisters, you are representing Islam. You are there and you're screaming your head off. You're climbing over fences. You're pushing and ripping almost clothes off from people. You are hugging them and kissing them. You are feeding these people. Subhanallah, you are representing Islam. What do the people say when, when they look at you? You want to do da'wah, you want to do something righteous, then be like Maryam salam, be like Fatima, be like Khatija, people that you can relate to, people that you can study their lives, not going outside and just going crazy over men and so on. SubhanAllah, and aren't we not ashamed of ourselves, SubhanAllah. When someone like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is more worthy than any of these brothers, okay, showed up in Medina or anyone, did people start going crazy? Yes, they did sing. Yes, beautiful. Did they scream their heads off and try to rip them and go crazy over them? No. The Prophet said, when in many gatherings, did the women of those gatherings come to him and hug him and kiss him? To any of those people, no. You say, but brother, you're not relevant to us. You know, you don't understand. We are. We need an alternative. We have all these boy bands and all these kufar people coming and having, you know, we need a replacement. 
really subhanallah we need a replacement for everything we can have sabr and we can continue yes i understand maybe someone likes someone or someone is subhanallah but this is the issue of sabr we should have patience we should control ourselves this is our deen yes we should we we can have fun but there are limits and we will see as we will see inshallah advice to the brothers the brothers of the sisters who are doing these things where is your jealousy allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's, you know, there, there's some hadith that talk about that Allah will not look at a person who has lost the jealousy for his woman folk. He will not look at them on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar, brothers, what are you doing? These women were entrusted to you. You're allowing your, your daughters, your sisters, your wives to go and scream around and run around on their, after a, bu a bunch of teenagers. Subhanallah. Advice for those who invite these brothers. Be careful. These are not these brothers are not representing Islam. We're not saying they're not Muslim. They are Muslim, but they are clearly wrong. Be careful of giving them a platform of encouraging them, thinking that you know we need these this youth to relate to these people. This is not being relative to someone. This is not relating to someone. This is totally making a mockery out of Islam. So you know, mixing haram, clear things that are not debatable. You can't say, ah, it's your interpretation. This is, I mean, a, a, a sister hugging and kissing a brother. And they're taking selfie and putting all over. A sister who is Muslim, maybe. A sister, subhanAllah, who is, I mean, Allahu Akbar. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Now, the Prophet ﷺ has warned us that you will follow the people up to fall them into the hole of the lizard. And the Sahaba said, Who are Rasulullah? The Christians and the Jews. He said, Who else? Who else? Now, because they have boy bands, we have to make boy bands. Because they have so called, you know, uh, pretty boys or whatever, we have to make our own version of the pretty boys with the Muslims saying, Bismillah, Salaamu Alaikum, Allah Akbar, Takbir, and so on. If they have, you know, uh, famous people joking and making all kinds of weird, weird, really savage like type of movement and, and pranks and jokes, then we should also make the Muslim version. So anything that the kuffar come up with, we need to bring up the same, or you know, even try to beat them. Come on, Subhan. Why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us to to raise towards doing good deeds, okay, not towards doing bad deeds. Now, again, let me close with this. You might say, Ah, brother, strictness again. You guys, strictness using these labels, you know, Haram police and Wahhabi and Salafi and all these things. Subhanallah, we are reading for you. We are citing from the Book of Allah for you. We are giving you advice from the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, who talked about these things. So let me end with this. Are we strict and we can joke? No. A man came um, to Sufyan ibn Uyayna and he said, joking is not right. So this man is saying to Sufyan, joking is not right. It should be denounced. Sufyan, he said, Rather, it's from the Sunnah, subhanAllah. Joking is from the Sunnah, yes. But only for those who know how to do it and do it at the appropriate time. There's a time, there's a place, there's a way of joking. Yes, there's a Sunnah of joking, subhanAllah. Ibn Umar, radiAllahu anhu, he was asked about the Sahaba, if they were joking, they're laughing. He said, yes, they used to laugh. But the faith in their hearts was like mountains, subhanAllah. And it, really, we have to ask ourselves, we are joking, going for the meet and greet and so on. Are we waking up for Fajr? Are we, do we have the same enthusiasm when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Like we meet these people? Do we have the same, you know, desire when we stand in front of Allah for our salah? So what kind of jokes? Let us give you, know, because I don't want to leave you and say, okay, so what? So we can't joke, can't do anything, what are we... How, what kind of jokes based on the sunnah, based on what the scholar said, what is allowed in Islam? Number one, okay, it should, it should not make fun of Islam. It should not make fun of the Sharia. It should not be something like that. It should be a truthful joke. Yes, the Prophet used to make jokes and they're truthful jokes. It should not scare people. It should not mock people. It should not be excessive that always joking, joking, joking. Let's make our whole life a joke. Be careful with the status of the people. Different people are at different levels. You can't just go and joke with your grandfather and your father and prank them and scare them and so on. It's different. You know, you might not understand, but in their heart, they will feel different, subhanAllah. It should involve no backbiting, no backbiting. And last but not least, it should be at the appropriate time. Okay? 
Brothers and sisters, this is Gabe al Romani. A reminder. Wallah al Adim. Yani sincerely, I love to joke. I love to have fun. I love, I believe that we should be relevant to people. Yes. And the Sahaba were the first ones to be like that. If we study their lives, we'll find that they were righteous people who had fun. They enjoyed themselves. They're not just strict and just frowning and never smiling and not having. No, no, that's not true. But there are limits. And these limits have been crossed by some of these brothers. And we advise them sincerely to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to make tawbah. We're, not, we're saying change your way. There's some things that they were good that were put out there. Change your ways and follow these the good ways. And leave these you know weird movements and these weird dances and these weird things. And the girls and all these you know so-called fame. Be careful of the kibr that might enter the heart. Be careful of the so-called fame that you are trying to see. Be careful and don't mix Islam with this. Subhanahu If you are doing this. And we are advising you to stop, okay? You have to deal with this with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. But don't bring Islam into this. Don't label this or color this or paint this as something Islamic. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is witness over all things. This is Gabriel Romani for daily reminder. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.